friends, I am Dr. Harvinder Singh. Welcome to our next short video containing clinically relevant facts for your daily clinical practice. And in this short video, I will very briefly discuss the importance of having knowledge of drug interactions with various mood stabilizers. And in this video, I'm only going to discuss these five mood stabilizers, which are lithium, Depakote, carbamazepine, oxcarbazepine, and lamotrigine. So without wasting any time, let's begin our video discussion for today. Yes. Risk of drug interactions with individual mood stabilizers. Very clinically important topic. We'll begin with our favorite lithium again. So lithium level can increase with many commonly used medications for medical comorbidities. First and foremost is antihypertensive medications, including thiazide diuretics, ACE inhibitors, and angiotensin receptor blockers. And the second common class known to increase lithium level after antihypertensives is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen. So exceptions include aspirin and solindac. And antibiotics including metronidazole and tetracycline carries risk of increasing lithium level. Important point is, since antibiotics are not indicated for long duration, but antihypertensive medications are, we should be mindful of this. And some medications can reduce lithium level, thereby affecting efficacy. And among these medication, there are antihypertensive medication class called osmotic diuretic, including mannitol, and theophylline or aminophylline. So importance of knowing this class. Next medication, Depakote. There are more medications known to decrease Depakote level than increase it. There's only one medication known to increase Depakote level and the medication is aspirin. Uh, it's very important when somebody is taking aspirin with Depakote, measure free valproate level rather than total valproate level because total valproate level may not give you accurate levels. Aspirin is known to increase free valproate level by almost four times. Next is medications likely to reduce or decrease Depakote level. And first well-known medication is carbamazepine, which we all know is a pan-inducer, can reduce many medications level getting metabolized through cytochrome P450 system. And similarly, phenytoin and rifampin carry the risk. And among antibiotics, carbapenem antibiotics, and more important than that is estrogen containing hormonal contraceptives. They can reduce Depakote level and they can also reduce lamotrigine level. So we'll talk about that. And very important relationship between Depakote and lamotrigine. Clinically important topic again. Whenever a person is on Depakote and lamotrigine together, this combination can result in reduction in Depakote level and increase in lamotrigine level which carries two risks. First, Depakote is low, patient is not getting efficacious dose of Depakote, 
And second, lamotrigine is high, so that risk of Steven Johnson syndrome and other side effect profile increases. So they recommend reducing the frequency of Depakote and lamotrigine. Sorry, I mean lamotrigine dosing titration is lowered when a person is on combination of Depakote and lamotrigine. Moving forward to next medication, carbamazepine. Medications that can increase level of carbamazepine first are antidepressants, including fluoxetine, fluvoxamine, and trazodone. Then cimetidine can increase the levels. Olanzapine carries the risk. And among antibiotics, ciprofloxacine, macrolides, erythromycin, and azoles. Class of antibiotics can increase that. And there are some medications that can reduce the levels, well-known phanatoin and rifampin. And we already talked about this, but we should be mindful of this fact that carbamazepine is a pan-inducer of many cytochrome cytochrome P450 enzyme system and it's also known to auto induce its own metabolism thereby after some time can it it can reduce its own level also so importance of monitoring carbamazepine level during entire course of treatment next medication is oxcarbazepine not known any specific medication that can increase its level but again same medications can reduce the levels which are carbamazepine, phenytoin and rifampin and an important clinical interaction of oxcarbazepine is with oral contraceptives Oxcarbazepine can decrease the oral contraceptives, thereby reducing their effectiveness. So importance of having patient educated on this and having a alternative contraceptive options discussed. Next is regarding lamotrigine. Level can be increased with Depakote that we already talked about and it can be decreased by same medication that we talked about which are carbamazepine and rifampin and oral contraceptives can reduce lamotrigine levels then there are antivirals like lopinavir ritonavir they can reduce it so let's take a pause look at this table again very clinically relevant table here I will just summarize one more point again regarding oral contraceptives oral contraceptives can reduce Depakote level and Lamotrigine level and on the other hand oxcarbazepine can decrease oral contraceptives levels so friends, this marks the end of this video discussion. Actually, this video is a part of a very important chapter in our course where I have compared these five mood stabilizers in these five different sections, mainly including indications, lab work, therapeutic level, drug interactions, and important clinical fact. And this chapter is actually available for a free preview. I will put all the link below if you're interested in uh, reading and watching this whole chapter on this topic. But if you're interested in, um, you know, reading and learning more, uh, please consider subscribing to our course. Actually, in Physician's Guide for Clinical Psychiatry course, we have more than 250 chapters. But not only that, as a course subscriber, you get access to our journal club with CME credits. 
you get access to our coffee club where we post discussions with various experts in the field of psychiatry and other fields also relevant to psychiatry and you get many other benefits you can read all the information below in the link so friends thank you again for watching this video i will see you in our next video take care and bye for now